Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope y'all guys uh, enjoyed the last video as this is going to kind of be a piggyback off of that video. So this is going to be a video about my Tier 1 Concealed Holster that I mentioned in my last video that I used for my 19X. So with all that being said, first I'm going to show you that the gun is cleared, nothing in the magazine, and once again, nothing in the chamber. So we're going to put the gun to the side, put the spare magazine out, and we'll let y'all look at everything. So this is the Tier 1 Concealed Holster, I believe. I don't think this is a flat dark earth, it's more like a coyote brown, which it matches my 19X a little bit more. So Tier 1 Concealed Axis Elite is, I believe it's the upper end of the ones that Tier 1 Concealed, and rightfully so. I uh, personally really enjoy this uh, holster. It's a lot of it's extremely comfortable for what it is. A lot of people don't like a Phoenix Curry because it's not comfortable. It's going to hit me wrong. It's, it's going to bind up whenever I go to sit down. But I don't find that to be completely true. Yes, when you sit down, it does bind up a little bit, but it's really not as bad as I once thought. So a few of the features this does, it has the little bumps right here, which kind of let your belt press into the magazine or press into the holster and it'll help form your body a little more, as well as, I forgot what exactly they call this, but it's the same concept, your belt goes over it and it'll kind of push into your body to keep you from printing more and kind of push the gun into your body into the back. Uh, the only thing that I really did customization wise to this gun was I had the mid height guard instead of the low or high guard, and I did the extended magazine, so I did the plus two magazine uh, holder, which allowed the magazine to sit a little lower, that way you're not, your plus two extension isn't poking out. So that was the biggest things for the uh, holster that I did, but we will kind of get into a few more things I really like about this holster, kind of a few more things I might end up doing to a future holster. So first off, I don't know for sure, but I've been looking to see if this holster if I were to customize this Glock 19 next, like I said in the last video, will it be able to fit with a light, uh, or not a light, but a, wow, well, a red dot. So with that being said, I believe there's enough room, but I'm not 100% sure. They may have to do some modifications to it. That is one thing, good thing about Kydex. You can kind of take it and cut it and heat it back up, and you're good to go. You heat up the edge whether well, there's... <clears throat> Not a hard spot or a sharp spot, and you'll be all right. So, that being said, I'm going to kind of show y'all with this gun and a few different other attire, a little bit of other attire, and I'll let y'all look at it and kind of see how it prints on me and some stuff like that. So, like I said, I'm going to show y'all some attire that I normally wear with this holster. That is one thing that's super important to me is being able to conceal anything I wear in. And this holster has pretty well done it. Guys, you might not have already been able to tell, but I am carrying in this holster. I kind of stick my belly out. You can kind of see the end of the gun butt, which I don't normally obviously stick around with my belly out. But that's just one of the things that's going to happen if you carry appendix, no matter what you're going to carry, especially when you're carrying a full-size gun or as close to a full-size gun as the Glock 19X is. It doesn't really print. I can kind of hide it a little bit if I want to. I can suck my belly in, and it's not going to do anything. So... That being said, you can obviously see I don't have any issues with it pulling out at all. I don't have any issues reholstering. Obviously, you gotta get the garment out of the way, but that's either here or there. So, one issue, or not even really an issue, is with an athletic attire, I do have to wear a belt. Like you see, I, this is a 511 tactical belt. I don't have issues wearing this whenever I am carrying, but some people do, and I can't. Can't say I understand, but I do. Obviously, like you gotta be comfortable when you're carrying, so that's just a big issue. And however, one of the things you can do, and what I actually am looking to do, is they make uh, Tier One Concealed makes what they call a utility clip. It actually is a clip. And I believe they say it holds around 40, 50 pounds, but it will clip to your waistband. Uh, they recommend it using it for like if you want to cover your belt, use your belt to cover the clip. It'll make it even more concealed, or you can use it to attach it to pants like this. And I have really considered doing that with a future gun. So, kind of let y'all know what y'all think about that. Do you recommend just doing a belt? Would you recommend using the utility clip? 
But with that being said, we'll get on to the next attire. Another attire that it's super important for me to be able to carry in is the more, not I guess necessarily like business casual, but this is what I would normally wear on a Sunday morning to church. So that is a time, especially with how things are going in the world, that I would like to be able to carry because that is a reality of today's world that mass shootings do happen and they do tend to happen in churches. So that is something I would like. As you, I am almost willing to bet you couldn't tell unless you just assumed. I do already have this holster on with the gun in, but obviously once you pull it out from being untucked, you're not going to be tucking it back in very easily. It does take a little bit of work to get it tucked in correctly, but that is just kind of part of it, and you do just kind of have to deal with that. So one of the reasons this holster is able to do as well as it does in uh, we'll say even tucking your shirt in or something like that is there is a gap in between the uh, where you hook to the belt and the holster itself so you can actually take your shirt and stuff it down in there behind that that allows you to have a tuck shirt while you carry and the only thing that's going to be extremely visible is the little clamps that's going to clip on your belt like I said in the last uh, and just a few seconds ago was they make the utility clip which is meant to attach to your pants and the belt covered up. So if you're even more worried about it, you can use that. It'll keep everything extremely covered. And we'll get on the next attire. So one other attire I also wanted it to be able to conceal my weapon in is, I would say more your winter attire, whether it's a sweatshirt, a coat, something like that. I don't have any issues with the protrusion at all. As you can kind of see, it's just gonna fit perfectly. So that was one thing not as important to me because a lot of holsters you get in the day you can conceal during the heavy weather or the hot and the cold weather. It's a lot harder to conceal it during when it's 90 degrees during the summer and you want as few clothes on as possible. But like I said earlier, one thing that is nice for me is I do wear pants a lot of times. So I don't have to worry about wearing uh, athletic pants or shorts or something like that. So, but like I said, uh, Another thing that I do like being able is this is a tighter shirt than the one I had earlier, but it does conceal better. This is a shirt that I would normally wear during the summer. I would say this is a pretty casual summer attire for me, and you do have a little bit of printing. Like I said, with the flush strip magazine, you're not going to get quite that much. It's going to sit about uh, probably a half inch to an inch further inside, and it's not going to print as much. But uh, I do just wear it on my normal belt, and I don't have any issue drawing or reholstering. It is pretty nice with that. So that is one thing that was pretty important to me, was being able to wear the summer attire, and I can for sure. So all that being said, we'll get back to and we'll talk about the holster just a little bit more on itself. So as you guys saw, I carried this holster in a wide a range of different attire, whether it be hot, cold, casual, business casual, athletic. I carry it in almost any type of attire and this holster has been very versatile for me for that. So that's one thing I've been very grateful for. And one other thing I've been grateful for is the fact that I don't have the issues that other people have appendix carry. A lot of people complain that the uh, holster will sit and kind of jar into your leg and I've not had that issue. It fits perfectly when I sit down. I don't have any issue sitting down. I know some people kind of sit down stiff-legged because it's digging into the leg, but I don't have that issue. And that's been something I've been very fortunate of. And it's been proven to make this holster 10 times more comfortable for me. So with all that being said, I'm gonna to touch on a couple of things like I did earlier. And so they do have the utility clip and it will help hide the holster even more by covering the holster or the holster clips with your belt and attaching to athletic attire and stuff like that. They also, like I said, there is a uh, gap in between the holster and the, uh, the clips itself. So you can tuck a shirt down in there and that does make it super helpful when you're carrying uh, in a tucked in shirt. The holster is super comfortable to redraw and to grab the extra magazine and to reholster is even better because I don't have any issues painting myself, don't have any issues getting my garment in the way. So that's just one of the things that's been proven to be pretty nice. 
So if y'all have any more questions about this holster or want to check one out, uh, go to Tier 1 Concealed and you can check the holster out. I'm obviously not sponsored by them. I paid full price for, the, full price for this. So I really am a big thing. If I'm not going to spend my money on it, I wouldn't uh, ask anybody else to. So like I said, this video is about, uh, it's kind of a sequel to the uh, previous video. So go check that one out. Check out some of my other videos. I've Got a lot of views on some. I've gotten a lot of views on some uh, videos, and not near as many subscribers. And I kind of want to even that back out. So if you can, give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.